video of the hunt was used as evidence. Well, hello there and welcome over here to Lunkers TV. I'm gonna say I've got a little bit of a predicament. It's a very good predicament to be in, but I've got a question for you guys. I haven't really purchased any Freedom Package senders in quite a long time. I've been kind of waiting. Uh, I didn't think it was the right time to, to spend money on stuff like that with Sarah's store and, and so on and so forth, but I think it's time to maybe buy something not super expensive, just kind of something I'm thinking about buying. That is right, I know the title of the video says it. Buying, I, I am actually in the middle of purchasing my own ranch. That is actually something that's going to happen. That's why you guys saw in the, the video from the other day, I was uh, getting rid of the Camaro to help fund some of the projects that's going to be happening on that throughout the next couple of months. And one of them is we might need uh, we might need another Freedom Package Sender. I'm looking for maybe possibly a bolt action one. I don't really know. I did a, uh, a commercial for Silencer Co. probably a little over a year ago. And they gave me credit to basically get, um, I think I got six, yeah, six suppressors. And uh, yeah, these are the ones that I have still left over that need Freedom Package senders to go with them. So I got the Chimera right here. This one is still, and these I haven't even put on anything. So I got this one, that's one. I mean, that's a very good one right there. That's actually, I believe the Chimera is actually the one we used in that, that video. So I know that one's, that one's a pretty much a dandy one right there. It comes with, that one's an FDE. And then I've got the Omega White. I wonder why they call it the Omega White. Anyway, I got the Omega here, so I got another one. Let's see here, this one goes uh, Silencer Co. It's a 300 caliber, so basically three. What's this one? I think this is about. I think this is the same. Yeah, 30 cal. Okay, so 30 cal and below, and then we got the 450 spray, the Osprey. This one, I'm uh, pretty positive this is for uh, this is a 45 caliber one right there, as you can see. So we got this one. I know we still got a couple more. Now this is the Harvester. I think this is actually probably my favorite one. It's light. Um, it's really light. Like this one is very light in comparison to this one's fairly heavy. I think this one, to be blunt, okay, I'll explain it here in a second why why they're so different, but. Here's the, the Harvester. This one's also for th 300 caliber and below, pretty much. And then you have this Switchback Raw. I know, I'm not I'm not doing this. This is not a promo video. I'm asking you guys this for a reason. So hold on. And I think this is for like 22s, I think. Let's see here. Yeah, 22 LR. So this is a little 22 LR one. I think I'm gonna get something pretty neat for this one. I don't think we need to worry about that right now, unless you, got a, you guys got a cool, cool little 22 LR. Now, this is not, like this is not a promo video. I'm asking you guys this for a reason. What should I get next? So leave a comment down below uh, which Freedom Package Sender I should get to match up with one of these. I love the Harvester because it's very light. It's made for bolt action stuff. This one is a little heavier duty because it's made for sending way more Freedom Packages through it at once so it doesn't heat up and get destroyed. That's why this one, the, the Harvester is so light. It's made for like backpacking in with a bolt action rifle. But I would really like, I think I'm gonna save the Harvester for something very, very, very specific. Like, like if I ever find time to make a like a, a rifle very specific to um, that's got a very light. Remember that remember that 300 win mag I got that had the carbon fiber barrel, but it wasn't really for me because every like six or seven rounds I had to literally take it apart and clean it. It was very accurate. I don't know. I may I may be being a little bit long winded here, but I need I need some input from you guys. G give me some stuff. We have we have five suppressors sitting in front of me that need Freedom Package senders, and I need your help. It's a pretty good predicament to be in, but I need your help. Oh, so if we get too far in this video, I want to say uh, it's that time of the year. So myself and the Googans, we're going to uh, fill up a couple baskets. It's kind of windy out here, so let's just, come on, let's go on time. I get this for myself. Okay, so what I haven't told you guys is uh, myself and the Googans are actually filling up three carts and we're going to be giving a bunch of uh, toys to kids that are actually in the hospital right now that have cancer for the holiday season. And uh, we wouldn't be able to do this kind of stuff if it wasn't for you guys. So we want to say thank you again for supporting the Googans and making it possible to where we can do stuff like this. This is just something very small. I'm sure we're gonna do something very big on the Googan channel later on this month, but I felt it was necessary to supply some of these kids with some Christmas gifts that may not get some. So it's pretty much what we're doing real quick. Cause I have a child that all of them love frozen. Did 
can become a Since some of these kids might be some of them actually might be in wheelchairs. Okay, so I only wanted to show that portion of the video to really kind of uh, emphasize that I've been very blessed, myself and all the goos have been very blessed uh, to, to be able to afford, uh, I don't want to put this, we've, we've been given the opportunity, there you go, we've been given the opportunity to buy toys for kids like that. If you guys are watching this right now and you have the opportunity to either buy one toy or $2,000 worth of toys, it doesn't really matter. If you guys have it in you to go and do that, I think I think it's very I think it's very crucial you do it because you don't realize, like for instance, those kids that, that we, just, we just got those toys for, they're sitting in a hospital right now. Uh, uh, having issues with cancer and just 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 the thought of getting a toy like that Ima imagine as a parent myself the amount of stress it must be I, I did I couldn't I couldn't fathom that I don't even know what I would say so so being able to provide a family or multiple families with the opportunity of having gifts I think it's very I think you need to do that and if you're able to do that then you should do it I'm trying to learn to be a better person as well throughout life yeah right. that's pretty much why I was going with that but I want to I want to also show you guys something real quick um take a few steps back uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be kind of an interesting little clip. This was just sent to me. Apparently, we made the Atlanta news, and I'll see you here in a second. Controversy over deer hunting in a residential neighborhood in Roswell. This YouTube video of the hunt was used as evidence. I saw that. What's up? Look at the inconvenience. I want the camera. I want the camera, and I want everybody that watches your videos to understand the inconvenience that this man has brought upon me. We're doing a full-on production right now, and everybody's working around that. Is it partly my fault because I haven't told anyone to pick it up, or myself hasn't picked it up? Sure, but more importantly, it's his fault for not just giving me a single check. It's the way it's supposed to be. Look how much in the way it is. Yeah, turn that on. I'm about to burn this food. Oh, I got it. You'll get cooked. Come on. What's wrong with you? Well, how much time do you have? <laughs> got like 1.5 million views overnight. It's a nasty clip. It's disgusting. It's on Twitter. Ninja retweeted. Oh, Ninja. <laughs> I'm that guy. <laughs> All right, let's get some. Let's get some food. Yeah. Oh, you first, were just with me in Chicago. No. I was oh no, no, no. Okay. 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 We're gonna be together in Oklahoma oh. for like I don't know four days. So, should I bring my boat? Yeah. Why not? I'm gonna bring my boat. Bring your boat. Okay. What do you got all over you? Oh, spray paint, iron lock. I used to be a graffiti writer. I'm so glad my car wasn't here when you got. <laughs> I'm all right, guys. All right. Yep. Let's see you. There she is. Okay. So I know at the very beginning of this video, and probably the title actually, I was telling you guys I was I was going to, or I am in the middle of buying my own ranch, which is uh, kind of crazy. Here in the next, uh, we'll say week and a half, I'm actually going to do like a series on where I'm from, and you guys will realize why. That doesn't really matter, I guess. But at this at this ranch, which we'll we'll show you here at a later date once we're done closing and everything like that, I want to have my own. I'm gonna build my own long range freedom package sending area. Like like with moving targets and actual steel out to known distances and unknown distances, all that kind of good stuff. So I had to actually come and pick up all the steel that I had out on Ryan's land. We gotta get that thing prepped. And we also have to find them, which, I don't know if you guys know cows. They're kind of big, kind of wide, kind of make like noises. And uh, they tend to push things over, i.e. my targets. So they're gonna be scattered somewhere through this stuff. Matter of fact, there's cows right there. Oh my! There's a lot of ants. There's a lot of ants. Tell them there's a lot of ants in there now. That kind of sucks. What do you do, cow? Look at those things. Always in the way. We're sitting here uh, just kind of cruising. I mean, this stuff's like really tall. I mean, look at this. Oh, the cow's taking off. So I've actually got Cam sitting on top of the roof right now trying to find, trying to see where these uh, where these things are located at because there's no way I can actually see them while I'm driving in the truck. Look at these, what are you doing, Cam? What are you doing? Okay.
so I, I decided I'm going to actually repaint all these. I just, I just hit them pretty good with a pressure washer and you guys can tell i mean some of these i had them on uh on ryan's land and i believe someone came out there actually i know someone had came out there probably didn't realize that they might have been using armor piercing rounds but this is uh this is a pistol target as you guys can tell and it's got solid holes right through it and these are the other ones these are the ones i had on the long range stuff you guys do know i've only i only used them a couple times so i got five six big bodied ones and four pistol targets yeah seems about right i think i'm gonna need a couple more maybe for this new range but like i said this is uh this is a piece of my new project but i don't really want to get too crazy and telling you guys of what's going on because we haven't closed on it yet we signed the paperwork but we have not closed on the ranch itself once we do i'll give you guys like a full-blown tour of it uh it, there's a lot of stuff out there it's really really awesome it's really historical it's really i i, I went after this land because of the history behind it it's 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 epic it's really awesome and i'm really excited hopefully everything goes through correctly and we can uh we can show you guys but i just want to let you guys know i i just i have purchased as of right now my my first ranch ever so i'm pretty excited about that so if you guys are not living in the united states you clearly know well i guess if you're not living in the united states it's probably summertime or spring or probably summertime where you're at but here pretty much dead of the winter so it gets dark at like six which it's 5.50 right now. So I, can't, I don't really have much else to do, but I will say we went and grabbed the trailer because tomorrow is going to be a really, I think it's going to be a pretty cool video. I'm pretty excited about that, but I hope you guys did enjoy today's video. I'm telling you right now, uh, when it comes to buying the land, I guess there's one piece I didn't even tell you. I feel like I'm putting a lot on the line with it as well. I actually liquidated almost all of my stocks. Plus, I, like you guys saw yesterday, I sold a car just to get this thing rolling. So I'm hoping it really pans out, but I wanted to give you guys a heads up. I did. I purchased one. I'm also going to keep the name of the ranch what it is currently and you'll see why hopefully here soon in the next i would say two two to four weeks is when i'm supposed to supposed to be good on it i hope you guys enjoyed today's video over here on lunkers tv i do love you every single one of you and it's a little bit different now because i just realized i say click that video right there so that's not true click those two videos down there and then goddamn yeah, say that does not sound right how about this we're gonna roll the american flag out there like i did the other day because i can't find my words I never